Good everyone, you're watching Rate Your Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your pin to start menu is not working in your Windows 11 machine. Now, there are a couple of steps to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step is to go ahead and re register the shell 32.dll file on your computer because the shell 32.dll file is responsible for managing the Windows Explorer. Re registering of it can help to solve this issue. Now, to re register, shell 32.dll file all you need to do is you need to click on the search in the search window you may go ahead and type command prompt or you can type cmd when you have the best match for command prompt on the right hand side you may go ahead and click on run as administrator when you get a user access control prompt you may go ahead and click on yes and that should open the command prompt on your computer now once you have the command prompt you will have to go ahead and type the command R E G S V R 32 space forward slash I space shell 32 dot DLL. What you can do is you can also copy this command from the video description and do a right click and then click on edit and use the paste option. So once you have this command, you may go ahead and click on hit enter. You would see an option which says the file has been successfully registered and it says succeeded. You may go ahead and click on OK. Close the command prompt window and then check if you are able to pin the application to the start menu. Now, in case if it works well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, the next step is to go ahead and change the no change start menu and the lock start layout in the registry value. To follow the steps, you will have to open registry editor. Now, in the search window, you can go ahead and type reg edit. When you see the best match for the registry editor, you may go ahead and click on open. In case if you get a user access prompt, you may go ahead and click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, once you have the registry open, there might be chances that your registry keys the might be expanded or so you will have to go ahead and collapse those registry entries so that it is in it is in this section. So you can click on this arrow that should collapse the registry keys. Now, once you have the registry keys open, uh, I just want to set an appropriate disclaimer that when you're working on a registry, make sure you follow the steps appropriately. Just in case if you make incorrect modification or delete any registry keys, there are high chances that your computer might go to no boot mode or certain functions may not work the way how it is supposed to work. So make sure you follow this instruction carefully. So once you have the registry key in this structure, all you need to do is you need to go and expand HKey local machine. Under HK local machine, you will have to go and expand software. Under software, you will have to go and look for Microsoft. It would be in alphabetical order. Expand Microsoft. Under Microsoft, go and look for Windows. Expand Windows and then expand current your version. Under this, go and look for policies. Expand policies and look for Explorer. Now, under the Explorer, you will have to find no change start menu and lock start layout entry. In case if you don't see this registry value, uh, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and create one of them. Now, to create a registry value, all you need to do is you will have to do a right click on the on this side of the registry keys and click on new. Once you click on new, choose D word 32 bit value and type the key or type the text which says no change start menu. I will also mention this text in the video description. Hit enter. Once you hit enter, once this key has been created, make sure the value has been set to zero. So in case if you find the registry key, what you can do is you can double click on it and make sure the value has been set to zero. At the same time, once the key has been created, the next key what you need to do is you need to go ahead and create another key which says locked start layout. Now to create this registry key, you can do a right click, click on new and choose D word 32 bit value and name the registry key as locked start layout, hit enter and also make sure the value data has been set to zero by double clicking on it and, and make sure it has been set to zero. Once it is done, you may go ahead and restart your computer. Once you restart your computer and check if you are able to pin an application in the start menu. In case if it works well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now the method three to get this issue resolved is repair the system image files. Now to repair the system image file, what you need to do is 
you will have to open command prompt so in the search window you may go ahead and type command prompt or you can type cmd when you see the best match for command prompt on the right hand side click on as run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may go ahead and click on yes or continue on the screen now in the command prompt you will have to go ahead and type sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter now as soon as you hit enter the repair of the system image files will go under different uh, steps you will see the percentage uh, here as you see it has been completed the next thing you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and restart your computer and check if you are able to pin an application in the start menu in case if it works well and good you don't have to try the next step now the last step what you can try to get this issue resolved is uh, to reset your pc now to reset the pc all you need to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on system once you have the system window click on system again so that you it will take you to these options and under this you will have to go ahead and look for recovery option so you may go ahead and click on recovery under this you will have to look for reset click on reset pc now when you have this prompt which says choose an option always make sure you keep my files with once you click on keep my files your files will remain intact on your computer at the same time it will also go ahead and repair your pc uh, so once you click on repair your pc follow the step-by-step -step instruction on the screen and that should allow you to reset your pc um, by following the steps once it is done restart your computer and check if you are able to pin an application in the start menu this should definitely fix the problem now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with a possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day